Many old school RuneScape players use RuneLite, an amazing launcher with helpful plugins and some graphics improvements over the base game. Recently though, HDOS, another very popular launcher, has just gained Jagex launcher support and therefore Jagex account support. And this one brings back a totally different era of the iconic RuneScape look and feel and nostalgia. Good day everybody. I have a question for longtime scapers. Do you remember the 2009 graphical updates, the HD or RuneScape HD? You're seeing them now, but this isn't 2009 footage. This is HDOS. I've mostly used RuneLite myself for old school and had only heard about HDOS, but never knew until I tried it recently that it uses graphic models of 2009 RuneScape. In this short video, I just want to walk you through it and show you how it feels compared to RuneLite and even RuneScape 3. I think more players than usual are gravitating towards old school RuneScape from RuneScape 3 now. While for many players, the RuneLite and even base client graphics are an awesome nostalgia kick, these visuals deter many RuneScape 3 players and gamers in general because they're so old, outdated and blocky. HDOS bridges the gap in a surprising way. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot about this bobblehead era of RuneScape, and when I first loaded up, I was like, what in the infernus is this, and what am I looking at? Um, it gave me the strongest Uncanny Valley feeling. If you don't know what that means, it's a weird feeling caused in this case by <laughs> The fact that these graphics are more uh, real, quote, than base old school graphics, so it doesn't feel quite like old school. And they're similar to RuneScape 3 graphical models, but still not quite there, so it doesn't feel like RS3 either. This can make it feel like an awkward, uncomfortable in-between. So it's totally reasonable, I think, for that to be your first impression of HDOS, whether you're very used to RuneScape 3 or old school via RuneLight. However, as I play more old school, I'm finding I really dig the smooth look and feel of HDOS. There are a lot of reasons behind this that you may or may not share. Firstly, I started RuneScape in 2002 and stuck with it for about 12 years straight. This means that I saw the game go through these graphical updates in real time, like many of you. Because I never maxed or accomplished many things at that point since it was much harder back then, I remember the 2009 graphical era as sort of the peak of my account. I got in my first Abyssal Whip probably not too long before, and then this update hit and breathed some life into that and other cool gear with cool new textures and animations and overall looks and feels. So overall this gave me a different nostalgia high than the 2007 scape that RuneLite offers. Not better, not worse, just different uh, in HDOS and really refreshing I found. If you quit RuneScape before the 2009 graphics overhaul, there's a solid chance you'll hate HDOS and stick to RuneLite. It makes sense, it wasn't a core part of your childhood, after all. A second reason I'm enjoying HDOS more than RuneLite is because I have been mainly and entirely a RuneScape 3 player for the past 3 years or so. I've only recently gotten into old school out of boredom of a maxed RS3 main, a maxed iron, and generally where that game is heading. RuneScape 3 has received many graphical overhauls and even complete area overhauls since 2009, but it surprised me how many of the models and animations of RuneScape 3 are unchanged from this 2009 version. Little things like teleports, for example, health bars, many environment models, entity highlighting, and even combat animations are much more similar to present RuneScape 3 than they are to old school, at least the base client and RuneLite versions. So this makes me feel really comfortable because it feels like I'm totally playing old school, but like it's progressed somewhere, but the game totally hasn't changed yet. And I mean, that's exactly what this HDOS version of RuneScape represents. I have noticed minor graphical issues here and there, but nothing too alarming so far. It's worth mentioning too that HDOS has many of the most popular RuneLite plugins and features like experience trackers, the quest helper, etc. I haven't played around with it as long as RuneLite, and there are many RuneLite plugins I haven't even used yet, but it feels like all the big ones are there. You will have to manually enable most of them when you start up HDOS for the first time, mind you, but that does give you a good chance to see what all it comes with. There may even be some plugins that RuneLite doesn't have that makes me feel a little bit more like this is RuneScape 3. Uh, for example, I don't know which plugin it is, but I noticed that the left click option of many NPCs by default is uh, their useful option, like bank or exchange at a tool of Leprechaun, rather than talk by default as the left click. I don't know if there's a RuneLite plugin for this too, but it's an example of something I noticed. By the way, regardless of which launcher you use, you won't miss out on the authentic 2007 Scape experience at all if you also play on mobile. The old school mobile app has a few of RuneLite plugins, but none of the extra graphics boosts. I don't really mind the graphics switch between HDOS and mobile, and I do switch back and forth between them a lot, but it might be worth the mention. Okay, that's all I wanted to say, really. I just thought that with more players showing interest in coming from RuneScape 3 to old school, 
and for old school players in general who swear by Runelite, and for HDOS only recently being available to players with Jagex accounts now. Uh, this might give you another perspective on this amazing HDOS client, and maybe you'll try it out and really enjoy it. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel for more fun and useful RuneScape content. Thank you for watching, it does mean a lot to me, and I'll catch you in the next one.